Hi all, welcome to this demo. My name is Anuraj. I am an engineer technologist with Dell. In this demo, we are going to configure the synchronous file replication between two power store storage arrays. We have two power store storage arrays, power store 01 and power store 02. Power store 01 is our primary storage array and power store 02 is our target storage array. This is the console of the power store 01. So before configuring the replication, let's make sure the network is configured properly. So go to the settings, network IPs. Here we can see the storage network is configured and the replication is enabled on the network. Next make sure the file mobility network is configured. So the file mobility network is not yet configured. So let's create the file mobility network. Provide the file mobility network IP details here. create the file mobility network. Next, map this network to the interface. Now the file mobility network is configured on the PowerStore 01. So let's go to the PowerStore 02 and we can configure the same in PowerStore 02 also. So go to settings, network IPs. Here also we can see the storage network is configured and the replication is enabled on the network. So let's make sure the file mobility network is also created. Go to the file mobility. Here we can see the file mobility network is not created. So let's click on create and provide the IP range for the file mobility network. Create the file mobility network. Also map the network to the interface. Now the file mobility network is configured in the power store 02 also. Now we can go to the protection and remote system and we can verify that the power store 02 there is no remote system configured. Now we can go to the power store 01 and there also we can verify the remote system. Go to protection, remote system, here also we can see there is no remote system configured. So let's add the remote system here. We'll add power store 02 as remote system into the power store 01. So let's click on add, provide the managed IP address, username and password of the PowerStore 02 system and add the PowerStore 02 into the PowerStore 01. Now we can go to the PowerStore 02 and here also we can see that the PowerStore 01 has added as the remote system. Now we can go to the PowerStore 01 and we'll configure the protection policies here. So go to the protection, protection policies, click on create to create the protection policy, provide the name as file-sync-replication, next we'll create a replication rule, provide the name as file-sync-replication and we'll select destination as our PowerStore02 and also we'll select the replication type as synchronous replication. Now we'll create the replication rule also create the protection policy now the protection policy is created next we can go and configure the NAS server so go to storage NAS servers so here you can see NAS servers are not created yet so click on create provide the name as NAS01 also configure the IP address and subnet mask Click on next. So here we'll select the SMB protocol and we'll join this NAS server into Active Directory. So provide the Windows domain name and the username and password for joining the NAS server into Windows domain. Configure the DNS server IP address here. Click on next, next and select the protection policy and review the configuration and create the NAS server. So the NAS server is created successfully. Now let's go to the protection and replication. So here we can see the NAS server is getting replicated from PowerStore 01 to PowerStore 02. 
also we can see the replication type as synchronous now let's verify the replication session and the now server from the target system we'll go to the poster zero to protection and from the replication we can see the replication session so let's verify the NAS server we'll go to the storage NAS server so here we can see the NAS server is also created on the target system now let's go to the poster zero one and we'll create the file system so go to storage file systems and click create we'll create a general file system and select the NAS server as NAS server 01 provide the name as FS01 also configure the file system size as 10 GB will not enable the file level retention now and configure the SMB share name as data 01 and no need to select the protection policy on the file system as the protection policy is already configured on the NAS server so this file system will automatically get replicated click on the create file system to create the file system now let's go to the SMB share and verify the SMB share is also created next we can go to the protection replication so here we can see under the NAS server the file system is also getting replicated to the poster 02 system let's review the target system also go to poster 02 storage file systems so we can see the file system is created in the target system and in the replication session we can see the file system is also getting replicated here now we can try to access the SMB share and we will create a folder by the name of poster 01 as currently the share is served by the poster 01 now we will fail over the file system from poster 01 to poster 02 so let's go to the poster 01 and select the replication session and we'll do a planned failover and we'll select the failover and reprotect option and click on failover this will trigger the failover of the replication session so we'll wait for the failover to be completed the failover is completed let's go to the target system poster 02 and review the NAS server here go to storage NAS server and we can see the failover is completed and also go to the file system also review the SMB share now we can see the SMB share is also created here now we can access the SMB share and we'll try to create one more folder here and we'll create the folder by the name of poster 02 now let's fail over the file system from poster 02 to the poster 01 go to the protection replication and select the replication session click on plan failover select the failover and reprotect option and initiate the failover so let's wait for the failover to be completed now the failover is completed let's go to the post 01 and review the file system and the SMB share go to file system and we can see the file system and also under SMB share we can see our SMB share let's access the SMB share and create a new folder by the name of powerstore01 underscore 1 we are going to integrate the powerstore with clusterland clusterland is a high availability solution which helps in the automated failover of the file workloads on Dell powerstore storage array in order to integrate the powerstore with clusterland the powerstore need to be configured in a metro cluster and the metro witness should be configured go to the protection metro and verify the metro sessions so we can see there is no metro sessions configured also go to the protection and metro witness and we can see the metro witness also not configured so i already deployed a metro witness so we can add the witness into the power store click on add provide a name for the witness provide the IP address of the witness and to get the security token let's log into the power store witness and generate the token by the script generate underscore token 
So we'll copy this token and paste it here. Now add. This will add the witness into the Postor Sura One Postor Storage Array. Now let's go to the Postor Sura Two, and here also we will add the witness. So click on Add. Provide the name of the witness server. Provide the IP address. Also paste the security token we generated before. Add. This will add the witness server into the Postor Sura Two also. Now the witness server is successfully configured. Next, we need to create a metro volume which is required by the cluster LAN. So let's go to the Postor Sura One volumes and create a volume and we'll name as cl hyphen metro hyphen vol and we'll provide the capacity as 10 GB and we'll create this volume. Now the volume is created. Let's configure metro for this volume. So on click on protect, configure metro volume and we'll select Postor 02 as our remote system. Now configure this will convert this volume to a metro volume. Now it is successfully configured. We can go to the metro and we can see the volume is currently being switched from normal to a metro volume. Now it's successfully configured. Now let's go to the post 02 and review the metro volume status. So we can see the metro volume is created here and also from the protection metro we can see the metro session here. Next we need to enable the SSH on both post store cluster. So let's go to the post of 01 and settings, SSH management, enable the SSH for this post store appliance. Now we can go to the post of 02 settings and SSH management and we'll enable the SSH for the post of 02 appliance also. Now we enable the SSH on both Postor 01 and Postor 02. Now we can proceed with integrating the Postor storage arrays with the cluster LAN. So I already deployed the cluster LAN. Let us go to the cluster LAN UI and now we can configure the Postor cluster into the cluster LAN. Click on add Postor connection and fill in the Postor 01 details here. Click on verify. Now select the cluster LAN agent 01 and verify. Then save the Postor connection. Next, we can add the Postor 02. Fill in the Postor 02 details. Then click on Verify. Select the Agent 02. And save the Postor 02 connection. Now we added Postor 01 and 02 to the cluster LAN. Now we can add the Postor NAS configuration into the cluster LAN. So go to Postor. Click on new Postor NAS, provide an SID, select the source Postor and the destination Postor. Click next and select the agent 01 for the source Postor and agent 02 for the destination Postor. Click next. This will fetch the metro volume created. Also, we can select our NAS server here, the NAS 01. Also, we can see the NAS replication session got fetched. Click next. Select the file interface. Also provide a SMB share for IO check. So we we'll select our data zero and provide the SMB username and password. Click on check. The SMB connection is successful. Now let's review the configuration and save the Postor NAS configuration. Click on the details to review the NAS configuration details. Go to the monitoring. Here we can see the cluster line is monitoring our NAS server. If it detects any failure on the source power store array, it will automatically fail over the NAS server from the source power store to the destination power store. Now I'll go ahead and fail the power store 01. Now we can see 
the cluster line already detected the source post of 0 1 or a failure and now we can monitor the cluster line automatically failing over the NAS 0 1 from the post of 0 1 to post of 0 2. Now we can see that the cluster line completed the failover of the NAS server NAS 0 1 from the post of 0 1 to post of 0 2. We can see the replication state of the post of 0 2 is marked as source. Now let's go to the post of 0 2. Here we can see the replication session is in failed over state. Let's go to the storage NAS server and review the NAS server. Then we can go to storage file system. We can review the file system also failed over. Go to SMB share. We can see that now the data 01 SMB share is created in the power store 02. So now let's try to access the SMB share data 01. Now the data 01 is accessible and we can see all the previous directories which we created. This concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.